Hi, this is Ben Finio from Science Buddies, and this is an infinity mirror. Now, at first glance, it might just look like a regular mirror, although when I turn it sideways, you notice it's a couple inches thick, which is a little strange for a mirror. But other than that, it just looks reflective and nothing out of the ordinary. However, watch what happens. Put the camera down for a second here and turn the mirror on. All of a sudden, the mirror looks like it has depth. This happens because there is a string of LEDs, or light-emitting diodes, that's actually sandwiched in between two mirrors. So light bounces back and forth in between the mirrors, and some of it escapes, which creates this tunnel illusion. So clearly, when you look at the mirror from the side, you can tell that it's only about a couple inches thick. But then when you rotate it and the lights are on, you get this really cool tunnel effect where it looks like the mirror actually has depth. This effect is even more pronounced in a dark room when there is less ambient light to interfere with the light coming from the LEDs inside the mirror. And then whenever I unplug the mirror, the LEDs turn off and it just goes back to its normal reflective mode. The nice thing about an infinity mirror is that you can make them in any size, shape, or color that you'd like, from something as small as these handheld ones here to something much larger like an entire coffee table. You can see that these handheld ones are powered simply by battery packs mounted on the rear. And when I turn these battery packs on and flip the mirrors back over, you get the same tunnel effect that I did with the larger mirror. Then when I turn the mirrors off, the LEDs go off and they just look like a regular mirror. The exact materials you need to build your own infinity mirror will depend exactly on how big you want it to be, what shape, and what type of lights you want to use. A good starting point is a paper mache or cardboard box with a removable lid that can house your LEDs and hold the battery pack. You'll also need a small mirror that you can pick up at an arts and crafts store or order online from a vendor like Amazon.com. And remember that the shape and size of the mirror will need to match the size and shape of the box you're going to use. You'll also need a sheet of plexiglass, which you can pick up from a vendor like Amazon.com or at a local hardware store, which you'll need to get an adult to help you cut down to size appropriate for your mirror. You can do this by scoring the material with a utility knife, make sure you use a ruler and cut a straight line, and then snapping it to make a rectangle. Cutting a circle is a little more complicated. You can read the written directions for the project about that. And then you're also going to need mirrored window film, which is a thin adhesive film that you can apply to the plexiglass to give it a semi-mirrored but semi-transparent finish. So you see how this kind of looks like a mirror, but you can also see my hand through it. That's what allows some of the light from the LEDs to escape and give the infinity mirror effect. And you'll also need LEDs to put inside your mirror. Now, there are also plenty of different options for this, from just using a strand of regular LED Christmas lights that can plug directly into a wall outlet, to if you are a little more advanced with electronics projects and you have a soldering iron available, you can actually solder together a circuit with your own individual LEDs and hook those up to a battery pack. And remember that you are going to need an appropriately sized resistor to prevent the LEDs from burning out. So you can read the written directions of the project for details if you want to try that. And then finally, you just need to assemble all these things together to actually build the mirrors. So with this mirror here, and if I turn it on and off, you can see the infinity mirror effect, but if I just pop off the lid to the box, you can see what's inside. So the lid is holding the piece of plexiglass with the mirrored film on it, so this is a one-way mirror. And then the inside has the fully reflective mirror and the LEDs. So if I turn the LEDs on, you can see that they light up, but there's only one reflection. You don't get the infinity effect because the light needs to bounce back and forth between the two mirrors for that to happen. So those are all the parts you need, but remember exactly what you buy and exactly how you put your mirror together is totally up to you depending on how you want it to look. So you can move on to the written project, written directions for the project to get some ideas and have fun. You can find the link for the written directions to this project in the description of this YouTube video. You can also find directions for over a thousand other science and engineering projects at our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.